today, Charts Today comes to you from Bahrain. Uh, it's very hot here this morning uh, and I'm going to focus in Charts Today on um, the oil price. So let's get down to it and have a look at the charts. So I'm back in my hotel room and we start by looking at Brent crude. And here we've got the thrust targets. This is the daily chart, that's my medium term chart. And this is my 60 minute chart, that's my short term chart. And I've also got a long term chart. So let's start by looking at the long term chart. This is the weekly chart. And you'll notice here that these buying thrusts have all generated these upside targets uh, here for uh, Brent crude. So uh, it's interesting that we've got this tussle going on, that we are below the cloud on the weekly. We do have these downside targets, one to $70, another one as low as $40. Six dollars, um, but we also have this upside target to 118, and if we can make a new high, we activate another target to 150. So the very long-term picture is one of crude oil going uh, well above 100 uh, to these targets, but in the meantime, we are below the cloud and we do have this downside target. So it's a it's a mixed picture. It's not a one-way uh, clear picture. That's the long-term weekly. If we look at the uh, the 60-minute, uh, sorry, the daily chart. Uh, we see how these downside targets were given last year and met. Uh, and that's really quite clear that we have these downside targets given and met. And then a whole series of new upside targets. And uh, that's what's really interesting here is that we are seeing this upside target was activated. We are above the cloud on the daily. So that is actually looking um, pretty strong for crude. But we have had um, a week of um, the price falling the last few days, and we've been bearish out to clients in our morning call uh, on the basis of these targets to the downside. So we had downside targets given here, met, we're below the cloud, we crossed above the cloud um, in mid-October where we had some upside targets given and then met, and then new downside targets. So for the moment, um, that's the picture. And of course, if you're trading crude oil short term, uh, this is the one minute chart. And, and this is just literally looking at Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and today. And we're seeing here we have the upside target on Thursday that was given and met. Then lots of new downside targets kicking in and activated. And these are the two targets that are in train currently. A little mini upside target given there, but we would favor the downside targets. And that's really where we're, we're heading at the moment. And we're down a um, quarter percent this morning. And we're we were bearish out to clients again this morning, first thing. So that's looking at Brent crude. If we look at WTI, of course, the picture will be um, quite similar. Uh, we see here that we've got the upside targets again pushing forward on the daily chart. This orange target is an unactivated target. That's why it's orange. It will turn red if we see a new low below the activation level, and that will then activate. And equally, we've got an upside target here on the 60 minute that if we move to new highs above $91 on WTI, we'll activate a target to 99. We've also got one in place. 295 but these little mini downside targets have been the ones that have that played out this is remembering this is my daily and my 60 minute chart some medium term and short term view of the market so let's take a look at some other things uh the dollar that's up slightly this morning but it has been uh it's interesting that we did get this downside target no clear targets on the daily chart there if we look at the euro uh that has uh, strengthened on that uh, dollar weakness just recently, but back below the cloud there. Um, so we are seeing quite a move there. Japanese yen, of course, we do have this upside target uh, looking to $155. We've slowed down. We're diverging away from the target. So that gives us a, a feeling that this 150 level where the Bank of Japan tends to intervene, we are seeing that 150 resistance coming back in and no clear um, targets on the one minute chart. So looking at the markets, so look at NASDAQ 100, first of all, uh, this is one of the most interesting situations here. We have the thrust that generated the uh, target uh, earlier this year. We didn't quite make it to that target. So I look at that target and say that target is now done. Uh, we are seeing a succession of lower highs and lower lows just. This is the activation level. We have bounced on that level. That's about 14,500. We close below there. This unactivated target turns from orange to red, and that would give us a downside to around 13,000 on the NASDAQ. So we are just on tender hooks, and we had some uh, earnings out from Microsoft and Google. So we'll take a look at those charts uh, in a minute. But here on the 60-minute chart on the NASDAQ, the picture is uh, quite interesting in that we've seen there's the downside target. It was not quite met. It was uh, 
happen a bit faster. I'm using my standard two to one uh, on the daily chart. So this is two units of uh, uh, one unit of price to uh, two units of time. So every two days, and this is 0.1% on the 60 minutes. So it says the Nasdaq moves 0.1% every two hours. That's that's the calculation here. And so we see here that that upside target was given off that thrust. Then we had a downside target. We fell below the cloud. Downside target was given to here. It actually happened a little bit faster. Then a new upside target. Again, that happened just a little bit quicker. Remembering the target was given there. And so now we've got a new upside target. We are below the cloud, though. And of course, we've got to watch that picture playing out on the um, daily chart where we would activate to the downside. So that's really quite key. Looking at the S&P future, uh, the picture is as you would expect, a little bit similar. We've got perhaps a little bit more bearish, no upside target here, waiting for this one to be activated. Downside targets um, all given, and this one really on the daily. And again, this was the target that was given at the start of the year, and this is the point really. We just start to see where we're converging away from the target. We start to realize that this target is now done, and we're now focusing on that one. So really quite uh, interesting uh, looking at that. Uh, looking at some of the other European markets, the FTSE future in the UK, uh, we're seeing here downside as well, downside targets, potential to activate an upside target, but the downside targets are ruling at the moment. And this 60 minute chart shows uh, the track. We are diverging away from that track now. So it's implying that we possibly won't get straight line to the target. But it'd be interesting to see if we make new lows, we might lurch lower to that uh, level. Looking at the DAX in Germany, the cash market there, um, we are seeing again, this downside target is the one that's dominating at the moment. An unactivated upside target, that one will turn green if we do make a new high. And this one, given back up here, has been met. So we can't ignore the fact that the targets are there and working. Now, um, taking a look at some of the other things, gold. Uh, this one's been very interesting. Uh, I did post a chart on LinkedIn yesterday on gold. Uh, we've got this situation where the downside target was given to 1739, didn't quite get there. Um, and then we had this bounce, this run. Uh, and if we look at the uh, 60 minute on gold, really quite interesting. We had this upside target that was well exceeded. And then and on the shorter term charts, there were more targets given higher. But now we've got this downside and we're just moving below the cloud struggling to get through 2,000 on gold. Keep an eye on those shorter term targets. They're going to show the picture first, of course. The silver, um, we're down a third of a percent this morning on silver. And again, just looking at the targets here on silver, uh, we see here this new downside target just kicking in, Got a little mini upside target, but the downside target's just ruling at the moment. The more recent targets start to give you less uh, hope on the upside targets. If silver can break in the very long term chart, if silver can break 30, then that activates a massive upside target and similar picture for gold as well. So certainly um, interesting to watch there. But for the moment, the shorter term targets are dominant and we're seeing that pull back to around $22 potentially. US 10 year yields, uh, looking here, we are seeing um, also just um, this this move uh, higher, which is quite interesting. We've got this uh, the chart there just showing the 10 year yield was met. That's quite key. Um, and here we see uh, again, we've got the um, the upside targets, but this new downside one just kicking in. And so it's likely that these targets were met and we're now focusing a little bit on the pullback and uh, quite interesting here looking at the daily. And of course, if you go to the long term yield chart, that's quite incredible. Um, one target to 10% in 2028 on the very long term chart. So um, that will be interesting to see if, how that plays out. Now, looking at some of the tech stocks, uh, we've got Apple uh, and we're seeing here on Apple. The really interesting thing on Apple is that we've actually uh, activated this downside targets that happened. Uh, last month, in fact, I sold my Apple stock on the basis of these new downside targets, 14% lower and 20% lower. Not all of the tech stocks have done that. Remember that NASDAQ chart, we're still waiting for that to happen. The upside target was given and met, the new downside targets there. Short term, we got downside, we've got a little mini upside target, but for the moment, Apple is not looking so good. If we look at Alphabet, um, as I said, results out last night. Uh, not quite as strong as Microsoft in the market, in the aftermarket, but again, waiting to activate that upside target. A different picture from Apple there and looking quite good. And Microsoft, if we look there as well, we see here the upside targets um, looking uh, 
better um, there waiting for downside to be activated and it's not happened yet. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. Bye for now.